So let's talk about the eight essential elements of Human Synergy Keynote. This is my original and probably my flagship keynote. And it's about building and leading world-class teams. The individual that you bring to the table every single day that creates that mindset and that culture that we're truly going to be better together than any individual could ever be alone. So why is team building so important? Because the best of the best never have a goal they can accomplish alone, right? You don't have a goal you can accomplish alone. The best of the best realize that they have to set a goal that's going to knock it out of the park and they need to build a world-class team around them to get to those crazy challenging finish lines, especially in times of change. So the eight essential elements is based on human synergy. And human synergy basically says we're going to be better together than any individual could ever be alone. And that our outcomes, what we're able to achieve together, is so much greater than the sum of our individual strengths and skills and talents. And most importantly, human synergy says, different from teamwork, that we're not just walking side by side towards a common goal. We're figuratively, and in some cases literally, carrying each other and towing each other and creating that wonderful interdependence that gets us across difficult finish lines. So what are those eight essential elements of human synergy? Um, it's, ac it's an acronym for teamwork, actually. And it's something that my teammates and I discovered in the sport of adventure racing. So let me describe adventure racing to you a little bit, and then I'll talk about what those eight essential elements of human synergy are. Adventure racing is a sport that was invented by a crazy, awesome Frenchman and popularized worldwide and on television by a little known character named Mark Burnett who started Survivor and, uh, and a lot of other crazy reality shows now. But basically it involves small teams. It's either four or five people and you have to have one man and one woman at least on each team. So you have to have mixed gender teams. And the race director will ask you to meet in the most remote location they can find on earth. And they hand each team a set of maps and compasses and road rules. And the next morning they say, ready, set, go. We'll see you guys in 600 to 1,000 miles. And it's really all about whichever team gets there first wins. And it's all non-motorized transportation, kayaking, mountain biking, whitewater rafting, mountaineering, and the clock never stops. So if you sleep and when you sleep is all part of your team strategy. So the winning teams might get about an hour and a half to two hours max of sleep every 24 hours. But interestingly enough, as physically crazy challenging as that is, that's not even the hardest part of the race. The hardest part is the fact that every single person on the team has to stay together from start to finish. You have to remain within 50 yards of every single teammate on your team. And you know, as you can imagine, there's not even people in your family that you want to spend that kind of quality time with, right? So this brings up an interesting dynamic and an interesting view of teamwork based on the fact that we couldn't say that we were successful unless all of our teammates succeeded because we'd be disqualified if even one person quit. The most important thing that we learned out there had very little to do with sports. What we learned is that Vince Lombardi was right when he said that the secret to long-term success is to play less as an individual and more as a team. As a leader, you play not your 11 best, but your best 11. The greatest outcomes aren't created by superstar individual team members. The greatest results happen when those individual superstar team members embrace the fact that they're gonna get to their finish lines faster when they're great teammates. So these eight essential elements are all about how you as a leader and team builder build a world-class team with people in your life, whether that's someone that you're in a five minute you know, sales interaction with or whether it's someone that you're married to or you know, that you're with day to day uh, at your work.